the next thing I'd like to cover is um, the fact that we probably want to use source control as we're working on this project. Um, I'm not going to go into the intimate details about this, but uh, basically let's do the following. So we have our simple application. Um, we got Hello Swift on there. I'm going to go to source control and I'm going to commit this. So what does that mean? What it means is my project and and you know the source that I've created and everything is going to be added to our our repository. Um, and uh, the most important feature that I want to use this for is the ability to to go back to go back to something previous. So I'm going to say, um, well, what have we done here? We've created a simple application that displays um, Hello Swift. Okay, so we're going to commit that. Yay! Now, let's say that I am now you know, playing around with this and I do something really bonehead like, uh, oh, accidentally change it to I hate Swift. Hate? Yeah. No, no, no. We'll just say bleh. There we go. You know, I've just basically butchered our application. Oh my gosh. Of course, in real life, um, you know, you will have tried some experimental thing and uh, um, things will have not gone your way and you decide that, oh geez, this, this, this isn't really working out very well. So, as you can see, you know, I've, I've butchered it. Uh, oh my gosh, how can I get back? Well, obviously we could just undo our code changes or, as in I could, you know, in the editor do the undo, but, but more importantly, I can use source code control and this important thing right here. So what I want you to remember is this change that we just made, I have not committed it yet. I have not gone in here and said yes this is, oops, I haven't gone in here and said this is good. Um, so what I can do is I can just discard all changes. This is a really useful feature, so I'm going to go discard all changes, and what it does is it brings me back to all of the source and so forth that I was using when I last committed. Yay, it says hello Swift again. So that's a real simple introduction to version control. Of course, it's much more complicated than that if you want to get into you know the nuts and bolts, but for what we're doing, um, we can use it to save a checkpoint. We can use it to uh, you know, as we progress, we're able to save that change, save that change, save that change, and we know that if we ever goof something up, we can always go back to the last.